Today we're going to go over how to drop or withdraw from a class. While the process of actually dropping or withdrawing from a class is the same, the terms are actually very different. When you drop a class, that means you, the class is removed from your schedule and you will not be required to pay for the class. If you withdraw from a class, the class will appear as a W on your transcript, which will not affect your GPA, but can affect your financial aid status, and you may be required to pay out of pocket for the course. The dates that list when you can drop versus withdraw from a class are located on the academic calendar, which can be found by going to the LFCC website, clicking on Quick Links, and clicking on Academic Dates, Calendars, and Final Exam Schedules. You will then select the calendar for the academic year we are in, and you can see the, all the important dates for each class session. The last date to drop a class will be listed as the last date to qualify for a refund or change from audit to credit or credit to audit. The last date to withdraw from a class will be listed as the last date to withdraw without grade penalty. Please be sure to keep these dates in mind when thinking of dropping or withdrawing from a class. Now, to actually drop the class, you will need to go to My LFCC and log in using your My LFCC credentials. You will then click on SIS and then My Student Information. You'll then need to click Enrollment in the drop-down menu and then Drop Classes. You'll then check the classes you wish, wish to drop or withdraw from and click on Drop Selected Classes. then finish dropping. If the drop was successful, you'll see green check marks in the status column next to each class. If you receive a red X, that means there's, there was an error, your class has not been dropped, and you need to contact your advisor for more information. If you are dropping the class, the message will read, success, this class has been removed from your schedule. If you are withdrawing from the class, the message will say success, you have successfully withdrawn from this class. If you have any further questions about how to drop a class, you can contact your academic advisor. It is also encouraged for students to contact their academic advisor as well as financial aid if they are receiving it before dropping or withdrawing from a class as drop changing your course schedule can affect your ability for financial aid.